Now, you've just seen a chalk talk illustrating one of the great truths in the Word of God or several truths. Some of these chalk, chalk talks deal with just one subject. Some deal with several subjects. In the message you've just heard, you found material for two kinds of people. People who are unsaved and have never trusted Christ the Savior, and material for people who are saved and should be living for God, should be believing the book and living for the Lord. Our one purpose in bringing you this series of messages is to get you saved and get you safely home to heaven, or else get you living like a Christian if you're already a Christian. We have no other purpose in mind. I'm not here to build anything. I'm not looking at you to promote anything. I'm not facing you in this camera right now to put across anything to you that has anything to do with your pocketbook or your church membership or your attendance or your support. I'm after bigger game. I'm after your soul. I'm after your soul. The money and the support and the attendance can wait. There are no gimmicks attached to what you've just heard. I'm anxious for one of two things. If you're a child of God, you've truly been saved and born again by the Holy Spirit, I'm anxious that you get close in fellowship with your Lord Jesus Christ and stay in fellowship and bear fruit for God and do something for Him before you die and meet Him. That's the first thing. The second thing is this. If you're like most Americans, a poor, superstitious, religious pagan, and most Americans are poor, superstitious, religious pagans, don't think the heathen in Africa and Asia and China, the heathen go to Kmart and Shoppers Fair and Montgomery Ward. If you're a poor, pagan, superstitious, religious heathen in America and lost, I'm anxious that you come to know eternal life through God the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You say, well, how do I do it? It's so simple, you'll miss it. People want things complicated because they want to get themselves involved where they can get their self-righteousness in there as part of the salvation process. God made it much simpler in here. He said a dozen times, believe, believe, believe. It is true he said repent. It is true in one occasion he said be baptized. On one occasion he said confess. But the term baptism is never connected with eternal life. The term baptism is never connected with forgiveness of sins. The term baptism is never connected with redemption. The term baptism is never connected with justification. You only hear that kind of nonsense from preachers. Redemption, justification, eternal life are connected with God the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. And in this book, a revelation from God, he says, Him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. He said, if any man wants to come to me, he can come and take of the water of life freely. That means you. That means you. That means right now. It doesn't mean next Sunday in church. It doesn't mean at some sacramental fount or some fount of baptism or some place where you're christened. It means whosoever will, let him come and take the water of life freely. God offers you something free. You can have it now. Do you want it? If you don't, turn off the set. If you want it, listen to me. If you don't want it, throw it out. If you do want it, here's how you get it. Bow your head right there by the set. Don't feel embarrassed for 10 other people in the room. Tell them to wait to get through. If you're by yourself, bow your head. Pray this prayer with me and see if it works. Nothing like being experimental, is there? Nothing like being honest, right? Don't condemn it. Don't knock it if you never tried it. Close your eyes and try this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus... Try it. Go on, try it. Lord Jesus. Yes, it feels funny saying it. It's better than a rubber room. Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I don't want to go to hell when I die. Pray it. Say, I'm going to trust you right now as my Savior in the best way I know how. I'm going to trust you as my own, receive you as my own Savior. Try it. Right now. Say, God, be mercifully a sinner and save my soul, and Lord, let me know I'm saved. Go on, try him out. Some of you tried out everything else, God knows. Why don't you try something that works? Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. Please save my soul. Let me know I'm saved. I'm going to trust you from now on and nothing but you and nobody but you to save my soul and give me eternal life. And thank you, Lord, for dying for my sins. Try it. Pray it. It works. It works. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It works.